Israelis have recently become the connoisseurs of fine wine, and there's also been an abundance of boutique beer breweries opening over the past couple of years. Now there's a newcomer on the block, and it's alcoholic apple cider. IBA's Ari O'Sullivan visited Buster Cider Factory in Beit Shemesh, where the sparkling beverages are crafted by hand. Hello, good morning, Denny. How you doing? Good morning, RAA. Welcome to Buster Cider. Well, let's have a look and see what you got. Come on in, see how we make it. All right, this is our sweet cider, RAA. We make two styles. This is 4.8% alcohol. It's a little bit sweet. It's more for the Israeli palate. We also make a British style, 6.7%. It's a little bit more dry. It's the one I prefer. But both of these are made from 100% apples. There's no preservatives, there's no additives. Um, it's something kind of new in Israel. The, there's two countries in the world that don't understand that, that cider is an alcoholic drink, and that's America and Israel, primarily. Everybody else is very well aware that there's alcohol in cider. Uh, we wanted to do something just a little bit different, and so we thought, why not cider? It's, it's fresh, it's uh, refreshing, um, it's gluten-free, which is a big thing right now. So we thought, why not, and it's really caught on, and people, people really love it. This, this is where everything happens. We ferment our cider in 1,000 liter barrels. Um, we start about one every week or so. It sits in here for anywhere between one and two months. But this is just like wine, it's not beer. Um, instead of squeezing grapes to get wine, you squeeze apples and you get cider. So this is where it's becoming alcoholic. No, this is where we put in the yeast and the yeast eats the sugar in the apples and then turns it into alcohol. Oh, let's go see that. Uh, this is a, a 1,000 liter soda stream. This is where it gets its carbonation, it gets its gas, it gives it a real nice pop in your mouth. Right now we have about 700 liters in this. We just got through filling up kegs. We package up kegs weekly for our keg customers, um, bars and restaurants that we prefer it on tap. It's a little bit more romantic. Well, hopefully we're changing <laughs> the Israelis. Uh, we've had an uphill battle with cider because everybody that comes to our tasting booths at festivals and fairs, they go, cider with alcohol? What are you talking about? Because we're used to what's called cider hagalil, which is not cider, it's just apple juice with gas. And so getting people to understand there's alcohol in it, and then they see that it's a refreshing alternative to beer, same alcohol percentage, you know, five, six, seven percent alcohol. But um, we get a lot of wine drinkers who like the similarity to wine. We get a few beer drinkers, not that uh, it's better than beer, it's just a, it's a addition to beer. And is it kosher? It is, it's kosher, it's even kosher Pesach. Yeah, so for one week out of the year, we're really busy and we're the king. <laughs> a lot of people have seen our success in marketing the cider and they like the flavor of it. So everybody wants to know how to make it. So they ask me, you know, what apples you use, what yeast you use, how do you do it? And so like Coca-Cola, you don't give the secret. So we have the out that we say only Buster knows and he's not talking. <laughs> okay. Good. Well, Denny, all the best and good luck to Buster Cider. L'chaim. L'chaim. Look, I